Hello everyone! In this video, you'll get to know the detailed information about things to pack for your dream African safari, so don't skip and watch to the end of the video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell notification button to get notified of our upcoming videos. Let's get into the video now. Most flights will have baggage restrictions when you're flying to the safari camp directly. Small planes going directly to safari camps in Africa allow only 15 kilograms of check-in baggage. The baggage should not be in a hard case. The hard suitcases may not be suitable when you're traveling to your camp by road due to bumpy roads inside many parks. So, it's advisable to pack your things in a soft duffel bag. We recommend not to buy expensive zoom lenses just for the trip, unless you're traveling for a professional shoot. Such zoom lenses are not just expensive, but also heavy, difficult to carry and transport. Try to bring a camera with 100mm zoom lens. If you do not have any camera, a mobile phone with a good camera is manageable. Now, let's talk about the accessories for your camera. It's always good to have a tripod when you're filming wildlife for better image stability and ease of filming. Always carry extra camera batteries, a battery charger, and extra memory cards. It's better to have power banks to charge your mobile phone or batteries. Try to bring a multi-socket extension cord, which suits your safari destination. Most camps do not provide multiple socket options, so it's better to carry one. Though not necessary, it is good to have binoculars, as they come in handy and are helpful to spot birds and animals at a distance. During game drives, you will be exposed to hot sun during the day. Wear sunglasses and apply sunscreen always in your exposed areas. You may also need a full rim hat to avoid direct exposure to sun. One of the must-carry things is insect repellent. Buy a good insect repellent with DEET level more than 25 and apply in your exposed area to avoid insect and mosquito bites. They are very effective in preventing malaria and sleeping sickness. Kids can apply DEET-free insect repellents, which are kid-friendly. Apply insect repellent even during nights and when you're sleeping. Carry a small backpack with you to carry your cameras, batteries, etc. during your game drives. Most people worry about their health while planning for safari. If you're traveling to malaria-prone zones, it's always advisable to take anti-malarial medicines with your doctor's advice. You may be required to take a yellow fever vaccine and carry its original record for entering and exiting some countries. The yellow fever vaccine gives lifetime immunity to yellow fever. Check with your travel agent regarding the vaccine requirements. Always ensure to carry a first aid kit whenever you're traveling to remote places. The best way to prevent malaria is by preventing mosquito bites. Anti-malarial medicines will only reduce the risk of severity of malaria and are not fully protective. It is recommended to wear khakis or brown long sleeve shirts and trousers during your safari. Avoid wearing blue, black or bright colors because tsetse flies love these colors and there's a chance you may get painful bites from these flies if you wear bright colors. Now, let's see some useful tips about safaris. Always carry some cash for giving tips, buying drinks in your camp, etc. Most safari camps are situated in remote areas, and credit cards may not be accepted in those camps. Check whether your travel insurance covers safari and game drives to cover unexpected losses during your safari. Always carry essential medicines. Avoid wearing expensive jewelry. Avoid roaming alone outside your tent in dark for your safety. It's also good to buy snacks before you enter safari parks because you'll get exhausted during long game drives 
and you may not be able to get a snack during your game drive. I hope this video is helpful in planning your African safari. If you have any suggestions, please comment. See you in our next video. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon. Thank you.